Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are chatting March empties. I actually don't have too, too many products to share with you guys today. A little bit of makeup, a little bit of decluttered, and a little bit of bathroom stuff. The day you're watching this video, I'll actually be midway through my Asia trip. I'll link my Instagram down below. You'll definitely want to go follow me there if you're interested in any of my travels. We are going to Japan. I think the day that this video is going to be live, we're going to be in South Korea. And then we're going to end the trip in Hong Kong. So I'll link that down below. I would love for you guys to follow me along. First up, I finished a sample, and I usually don't share samples in my empties, but this was a standout. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation in the shade number three. And if you guys didn't know, Sephora does provide samples. If there's any product you want to try that's like in a liquid or cream format, they'll go ahead and pour you a sample. Just ask them nicely. Sephora has really great customer service, and they'll be happy to pour you a sample because they want you to try before you buy and, you know, happy customers help their business in the long run. So I was really a big fan of this foundation. Currently, I'm on a makeup no buy. I will link my blog post down below. I've committed to buying no new makeup through June 30th of this year because I have so much stuff currently that I need to, you know, I need to like spread the love around my products and I don't want new stuff coming in that I'm wasting my money on when I realistically won't have the time to get around to it. And I also get lots of PR samples, thankfully, from brands, so I still have new makeup coming in, but I kind of need to slow my roll when it comes to responsibly collecting makeup because I don't like the idea of collecting makeup. I love the idea of trying makeup and exploring new favorites and new brands. Once my no buy is over in my birthday month of July, I might actually buy this foundation because I really did enjoy it. It was a demi matte finish long wear foundation with high coverage. Really comfortable to wear. The only thing I didn't like about this foundation was the scent. If you tried any Giorgio Armani foundation, you know that all of them have a very strong signature scent to them. This is one of those hot new products that everybody's talking about, so I wanted to throw in my two cents. I think this is a great foundation, especially if you have combination to oily skin and you're looking for something long wearing and more on the matte side. It's not totally matte, but it's matte enough. Next up, I finished up the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the shade Creamy Natural. This is a great drugstore setting powder. This is a pressed setting powder. It's definitely not a powder foundation, so I would use this for touch-ups in the afternoon. This powder is really cheap, really accessible, so I'll definitely buy it in the future, but not in the short term. I used up the INM Out the Door Quick Drying Top Coat. This is my favorite top coat to use when I'm doing my nails at home. And um, about halfway through, the bottle can tend to get a little bit goopy. And you'll see that this one is kind of like tinged pink because I use a lot of red, maroon, and purpley nail colors. I love painting my nails like reds and purples and pinks. So sometimes it can kind of bleed into the top coat uh, bottle. So I've already repurchased this. You can find it on Target Online. Bed Bath & Beyond carries it. And I think you can find it at Ulta and Sally's. So any kind of like beauty supply store, you can find this. It's very similar to Seche Vite, but it's cheaper and a little less thick. I love that stuff because it dries quickly and it leaves the glossiest, shiniest finish on your nails. Really awesome stuff. Next up, I finished the Roto Cool Eye Drops, my favorite eye drops ever. I know that stuff's not for everybody, but I really love it, and I kind of crave that cooling effect with my eye drops. It kind of feels like Listerine in your eyeballs, but like less alcoholy. That doesn't sound good. Just, just try it. So I'm a big fan of these, and I've already repurchased. I am tossing out this Kryolan Concealer Circle. I got this at the Kryolan store here in San Francisco, but this is a global professional makeup brand. You can find their products around the world and you'll see them on set in Hollywood, behind the scenes. Um, and this is a, you know, thick, almost paint-like substance that you can use for color correcting and just doing different looks on your face. You can see I kind of dug into each of the shades in here, really. Greenness to neutralize redness. I would kind of mix the orange and the yellow together to kind of brighten under my eyes and color correct that. The package says that this has a 24 month shelf life once open so it's definitely been longer than that so I'm gonna cycle this out of my collection but I think it's a good product if you're doing some heavy duty you know color correcting on camera work this is a great brand to go with but for the everyday consumer this is probably above and beyond what you'll ever need I also used up this elf lip exfoliator this is in the clear version it's kind of like the brown sugary flavored one I haven't used it up entirely but I'm pretty sure this is expired it's been open for 
I would say a year or two. Elf has recently sent me a new lip exfoliator they came out with, and this is the Rose variety. And the texture is totally different. This is a very sugary, sandy, abrasive lip scrub. Um, it's very intense on your lips. The rose one is a lot more gentle, the granules are a lot finer, and it's a lot less abrasive on the lips. You don't feel like your lips are going to fall off afterwards. So I actually much prefer the rose variety, so I thought I'd go ahead and declutter this one because it's serving no purpose and I'm pretty sure it's expired. I finished up the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This was mentioned in my February favorites. It's still a favorite. I'm actually wearing it today with some half set falsies on top. I've been using this mascara every single day and since the formula is already on the dry side, I think that it reached its three months shelf life and it's time for me to move on. It's getting a little bit hard to work with so I've got a backup of this already in my collection. I think since I last mentioned it in that video, they've actually come out with a waterproof formula of this so I'm pretty curious to try that out once my no buy is over to see if it's any good. I don't often get waterproof mascaras but definitely for the summer months ahead it might be useful to have in my collection. So this is a very voluminous mascara. It's almost on the clumpy side, but that's kind of what I like. I like thick, dramatic, and voluminous lashes. So if you like those kind of lashes, you'll probably like this one. And Maybelline mascaras are really affordable. So I also use up this lip balm. This is from Alba Botanica, and it's the Unpetroleum Plant Power Lip Care Tangerine SPF 18 Lip Balm. This is an amazing lip balm. You can find it at health food stores like Whole Foods and whatnot. Since this product has jojoba oil and vitamin E in it, it really glides across the lips, unlike a lot of SPF lip balms, which can be chalky and hard to blend. This one was really nice, and of course the tangerine scent was amazing. This video is a lot shorter than most of my empties videos, so that's a big relief when it comes time to editing this video. I finished up the Up and Up Smoothing Shave Gel with Soy. I get this at Target. I love it. I use it up pretty much every month. I use up the Secret Outlast Clear Gel Unscented Deodorant. This is my favorite conventional deodorant. I am trying out some aluminum-free deodorants at the moment, but for the days I have heavy workouts and stressful situations, I still have to go for my conventional deodorant that contains aluminum because that's what keeps the sweat and smell away. For the days I have a heavy workout involved or a hectic schedule, this is the deodorant I reach for, but for the days I'm at home or just hanging out, I'll usually go for a, you know, natural aluminum free option instead, but this is still what I have to rely on for those crazy days. And finally, I used up a box of Q-tips. This is the 625 count. I think this came in a two pack at Costco, but I could be mistaken. Q-tips don't need an explanation for those, but I finished those up. And that is about it for my March empties. I hope you guys liked it. Please leave a comment down below with your video requests or things you want to see in the weeks to come. Again, as I mentioned, I'm in Asia right now, so go follow me on Instagram if you're interested in keeping up with my travels, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and join my YouTube fam. I hope you're all doing really, really well, and thanks again for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!